well, I'm trying to go unnoticed because I parked in someone else's lot. I'm really hoping they'll let me. Please don't look at my car like you're gonna tell me. Okay, they were super nice about it. They saw me like sneaking and they were like, dude, lady, you can't park there. And I was like, please. And they were like, I'm just kidding, I don't care. So, uh, I'm about 30 minutes outside of Nashville. I had to get out of the car for a little bit, even though I've barely gone anywhere. I'm at Antiques on 231. I think I'm in Lebanon, Tennessee. Oh my gosh, so cute. I wonder how much duck hanky, $12, okay. Um, this is cute too. I love the little rooster box too. Oh, it's a puzzle set. I think that's German. And oh my gosh, look at that plate. That's fantastic. I'm not sure how much of this is going to be my style. I didn't do much investigating. Again, it was one of those places that had, this is very cool, Japan. Um, definitely a little spendier here so far. I, I just didn't have time to investigate. I was like, you know what? I'm burning daylight. I'm trying to get out and see some other stuff just in case when I get to Nashville, the prices are high. And I've kind of already decided um, I might end up taking the same route home and stopping a few places. I wanted to go to a couple places in Nashville that I probably won't have time for. Oh my gosh, look at this cute little deer planter. $8. That is adorable. It's got a little manufacturing defect on the ear. I might grab that, but I am very distracted by this apple thing. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, the owls are cute. The zebras are eight. These are fun too. So it's definitely a lot of she-she country stuff, which honestly isn't really my thing. Oh, but there is a little bit of everything. <gasps> Oh my gosh, 18 with the sleepy eyes. Oh, they're fantastic. I normally don't get two of stuff, but these are kind of hard to find, especially with the sleepy eyes like that. I wonder, should I just get both? Gunned, yeah, I should just get both. And another little owl do that that's newer than I like. These are older, just figurines. Oh, I'm so into the vintage cookie cutters. That is so cute. I'm trying to rearrange stuff here. I have my hands full and 24. Dang, the box is really sweet. This leather camel is pretty incredible. $34. Whoa. <gasps> Braids. definitely priced accordingly but man there's some great Christmas in here the other thing I noticed was this fantastic Santa Claus 16 though I love these little salt and pepper shakers but what I really see is the left in Valentine's Day planter oh, 32 well, I am kind of realizing that this guy's eye is damaged. So I am, in fact, only going to get one of them. Plus, um, these have kind of depreciated in value a little bit. So I don't think I'm going to get as much for this as I used to. Uh, I know the last one I sold of this was like $68. So um, I think it's going to be less than that. But I'm going to get one at least. It's so fun. This is a kind of neat potato chips tin. Love the kind of art deco style there. Whoa. $10 each. That's super fair. What about the little bugs? I used to sell these like crazy. Four for 20. That's a really good price too. It's even got the flower hat one. Oh, kind of like the one with the drum. All right. It's a little less intimate back here. <laughs> uh, I hate talking at regular volume when there's a lot of people around. I feel like I don't like it, so why do you? <laughs> Yay! 
Yeah, I think this place is a lot bigger than I thought it was initially. So much fun stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this booth. So fun. Love the way it's displayed. Vintage cats. Oh, it's glued to this rock too. This is a neat one. I love these wood ones. And then they've got the little, they're priced about what I'd sell them for. They've got the little plastic. I think they're $7 each. Yeah, can't do that. Oh, and I love the cake topper set. Look at the surfers. And you know I'm a sucker for the ballerina ones. These are neat. Straw holders. Interesting. And of course these hands, these hand clips usually sell really well. 28, I still eke out like literally a couple bucks from that, but not enough to justify. Oh my Christmas. All right, well, you know I'm going straight for this case. I already know that it's probably gonna be, oh my gosh, there's more. It's probably gonna be all about retail, but there's amazing stuff in here. Like what? $22.50 for all actually is totally reasonable. Oh, I love these. These are usually expensive. $16, that's totally fair for a collector. That's um, probably about what I'd get that uh, get for it after fees. And look at the little Santa soaps. I can't get that though. Um, I think that's a Hold Howard design if I'm not mistaken, but it's too hot for soaps. I'm afraid they would melt or something. I love this Santa mug. The Christmas boot wall pocket. Oh my gosh, and look at this guy. I have to know, I just have to know. It's a bottle. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cool. A decanter, $58. Santa bottle. <sighs> Neat. That's probably about what I'd sell that for too. Those are really hard to find. And when you do find them, they definitely don't have enough, uh, as much paint on it as that one does. And the Christ Santa. All oh, the reindeer. Wow, this is awesome. Ooh. Over here, like the glittery reindeer, that's about, that's definitely retail though. Um, oh my gosh, there's little funky ornaments behind me. Funky ornaments. Oh, cute. Oh, they're the same. That one's pink, though. Um, 18. So sweet, though. I'm also noticing the art glass deer. So cute. As is. Dang. Yeah, it's missing an ear. That's definitely the best one. This one's cute too, $6, it's so cheap. They're definitely newer though, I think. At least I think, I said definitely, and I think it's the same sentence. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're new. Well, I'm almost done. There's only one more booth I'm waiting to get in. Um, oh, it's filled with dirt, Nick. I don't know why I just touched that. It was clearly full of dirt. Whoa, look at this box. Hungry. Uh, I don't wanna drop that. $30. Dang. Yeah, I'm just waiting to get into one last booth. Fenton. 29, yeah. <laughs> Christ, that's interesting. I wouldn't have guessed that. Another epic case. Look, they've got the full set. Definitely spendy. Oh, and they got the Fire King poke dot. So I ended up spending like $20 in there after tax and everything, but it looks like there's a big antique mall. I'm just checking out everything behind me down the street. Hopefully parking situation is a little bit more uh, no visibility out of town driver than it is here. Um, let's go, I'll see you guys there. Super cute. All right, let's go in. All right, well, right off the bat, cute but ten dollars look at this crazy looking duck thing 
That one's only five. That's pretty fun. And then the bears are cute. What about down here? I think, I, oh, here it is. I was like, I thought I saw something. Dang, $17 though. Can't really do anything with that. Just out of curiosity, 31, 32 with some condition issues. Not bad for a collector, can't do anything with it for resale. So far, a lot of records, which definitely doesn't surprise me considering I'm outside Nashville. Uh, oops. <laughs> Startled me. Um, Mantiki stuff. But this little area looks promising. I'm definitely seeing a lot of newer stuff. But, ooh, cat. But it's kind of a variety. This Dalmatian. Inesco. Disney. That's an older one. It's a really good price. I'm kind of being a little picky here, though, because I'm not seeing anything that's, like, shouting, please scream, uh, screaming, please wait in line. Meh. These, though, these are quite fun. These rabbit salt and pepper shakers, $10. Seems a little close. I could definitely make a couple bucks on them, but nothing to get too, too excited about. So I was surprised to find I already reached the end. So I don't think this place is as big as I thought it was. All right, so it was a strikeout, but it's okay, now I know. And I'm gonna get back on the road and keep going towards Nashville. I'll see you guys at my next stop.